Hi everybody, and today we're going to be showing you guys how to install Openbox and KDE in Antergos. And we'll be attempting to install other distros as well in Antergos. So, in the last video, I showed you guys how to fix the um, Grub Bootloader <coughs> when installing Antergos. So, let's just boot up VirtualBox. Right now. And as you can see, we have the Manjaro boot screen. So, we're going to hit the Antergos install. So here we are booted up in Antergos and we got Openbox. So if you remember in the very first video I did, I said we were going to choose Openbox first. And I said I'd tell you guys why I chose Openbox. So what you want to do is, in order to have this work or with Openbox or with whatever distribution, well, just Openbox. To get this to work with Openbox, you have to install Openbox first. Um, I tried it, installing KDE first and then Openbox, and it just wasn't taking. And showing you how to get the Openbox from Antergos, not the regular Openbox. So. Let's get started now. So we are going to enter. So once you install your open box, it should look like this. And we're just going to wait a couple of seconds because everything needs to load and you can see we got um, updates so we got updates here and I'm going to apply these updates so the first thing you want to do is make sure you, you're all up to date. So what we want to do is hit your password and this is a little bit weird here. It has like a Chinese writing or something. Not sure if that's just this or what it is but if anybody knows why this has like Chinese looks like Chinese writing to me so let's just update and this shouldn't take that long there's only 12 updates and it has
has to update the meter list so we're all up to date so we're going to click out of here so once you're in your open box what you want to do is I got the notes here first install open box which you can see we did then what you want to do is open up PAMAC So we're going to open up the package manager and what you want to do is go to respiratories and you will see the environments of Antergo. So you got Enlightenment, Antergos, Gnome, KDE and what we want is we want KDE so hit the enter goes KDE setup and hit apply and we're just gonna leave it on the default settings so hit choose and hit the default again choose and this is normal circle dependency circle detected knet will be installed before the KO. that's normal so hit close and then if you want to go through the list to look at it that's fine but everything is fine so hit commit and then put your password in and it will install the Antergos environment. I mean the KDE environment. Sorry guys about that. And if you guys want to go get your guys self a cup of coffee or a drink or water or something, go right ahead because this is the time to do it when you install a sort of big package like we are now. So it's halfway through and it should look like this on your regular machine. And we're getting close to the end here. And we should be about finished here, so... Just checking the integrity, and...
now it's just installing everything so before it was just downloading and now it's installing everything of 252 packages so And we are done. And you don't need to hit apply, so everything is good and everything. If you want to hit the details, that's fine. And if you guys see these errors, Right here, that's normal. I've got these errors too, so don't be alarmed if you see those two errors. Uh, <clears throat> so that's normal. So, what we want to do is close out that, and what you guys want to do now is right click in your open box and exit out and restart your machine and we're in the boot grub screen so press enter ghost and it did it for me I guess <clears throat> Now you'll be loaded up with the same answer goes login manager so just click that again and here and now you'll have this box right here so what you want to do now is click this and you will see that you have KDE so what you want to do is hit plasma and log in And now you got your open box and KDE or KDE and open box, whichever way you like it. You got your awesome KDE with open box. So give it a minute to load and everything and it's loaded and The one thing I notice is it get is it loads this one up too, which you don't need because it already has a clip manager. This is from the open box, so all you have to do is quit that. If you see here, it, ha it already has a clipboard manager right there. But, if you guys want to use the other one, that's fine too. So, you can see you have KDE, and this KDE is awesome. I mean, it's really fast. It, even in VirtualBox, I mean, this thing is just flying. Look how quick that did. 
Even for a virtual box machine, I'm surprised. So let's just open up something in here so you guys can see settings. Um, system settings. Look how fast that opens up in here. In the KDE, um, I mean, this is just, that was just fast. So, yeah, so, that's going to be the end of this video, and... I hope you guys like this and hope you guys found this helpful if you guys want KDE and Openbox installed. So if you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to drop them below. And if you guys want to PM me, please feel free to private message me and Please like this video and big thumbs up and thank you and bye now.